All nuclear fuel at the number four reactor building was being kept in a storage pool when Friday's quake hit the plant. The pool is normally used for spent fuel. The tremor stopped water circulation needed to cool the facility down. The company says the temperature of the pool has climbed to 84 degrees Celsius, more than double the normal level. It also says the water level in the pool may have dropped. If the fuel rods are not fully submerged, there is a risk they will melt, releasing radioactive substances. The same reactor caught fire on Tuesday, the previous day. Tokyo Electric Power Company has released a photo taken on Tuesday from the northwestern side of the reactor. It shows that a large portion of the building's outer wall has collapsed. There's a big hole on the fourth floor and the inside is visible. The explosion early Tuesday morning left two eight-meter square holes in the outer wall of the building. About three hours later, a fire broke out near the fourth floor but died down on its own. Tokyo Electric Power says it appears a lack of coolant caused the fuel rods to be exposed, adding that a hydrogen explosion might have occurred. We want to turn right to physicist Michio Kako this morning. Dr. Kako, great to have you. And you heard just moments ago the prime minister calling this breach grave and serious. And as you know, doctor, I was in Japan for days and rarely did the prime minister come out in this way apologizing and using those words. What does this tell you? This is huge. For the first time, they're using that dreaded word breach, meaning uncontrolled release of radiation into the environment. And remember that Unit 3, which is suspected to have the breach, contains plutonium. Plutonium is the most toxic chemical known to science. A speck of plutonium, a millionth of a gram, could cause cancer if it's ingested. And so this has to be looked at very carefully because if there is a full abandonment of the reactor site, if they abandon ship, we could be in free fall. And even before we heard those words used by the Prime Minister, Doctor, we saw this in a Tokyo newspaper this morning, the headline that Japan's own Nuclear Safety Committee is, is thinking about upping the level here. Let's take a, take a look at these numbers. Three Mile Island in this country, we all know, was a, a level five. Chernobyl was a level seven. That's the highest possible. And now Japan considering moving this up to a six. Well, the utility is the laughing stock within scientific circles because obviously this accident has exceeded Three Mile Island. At Three Mile Island, we had one reactor sustaining perhaps 90% core damage, but very little escaped into the environment. There was no breach. Here we have three raging meltdowns in progress, one spent fuel pond open to the air, hydrogen gas explosions, any one of which already exceeds Three Mile Island. And, Dr. and so Kaku, obviously we should be level six. The level six you point out, and, and we saw those eerie images just uh, yesterday morning here of the ghost towns created near the Fukushima plant. I mean, are we looking at a potential Chernobyl situation where an entire region of Japan would be empty for years to come? Let's hope not. Let's hope they bring it under control. But if it goes to a full-scale evacuation of all personnel, it means that firefighters are no longer putting water onto the cores. That's the only thing preventing a full-scale meltdown at three reactor sites. Once they evacuate, then we pass the point of no return. In meltdowns are inevitable at three reactor sites, leading to a tragedy far beyond that of Chernobyl, creating permanent dead zones in Japan. All right, Dr. Kaku leading us through this day by day. We appreciate it again this morning. I'm now two weeks to the day since this earthquake and tsunami. Dr. Kaku, thanks.